Tell the cadets get up. And then we'll get ready. Supposedly they're not getting up till eight or nine, so we've got a little bit of time. Aside from the ticks, it is a very nice campground. <laughs> Huge. A lot of different places to go in this place. Good morning. It's Saturday, May 25th. And we're doing uh, Saskatchewan Silver Star South Expedition. What a campground. Oh, short distance, a little bit north of Carlisle. And uh, yeah, this is kind of day two. Started last night or yesterday afternoon. We drove up from Saskatoon and drove to Regina, picked up some stuff, and then we drove up here. And got here, oh, about eight o'clock. I think it's a five hour drive. And uh, set up our tents. And waited for the cadets and waited and waited. And then, I don't know, driver was having problems falling asleep at the wheel. They came on the buses. And uh, he's swerving on the road and stuff like that, so a couple of the officers went out to meet him about 40 minutes away and waited. We waited some more, and then I went to bed. They're gonna wake me up to help with the cadets, but I never heard them, or no one woke me up. So, anyway, it's about 6 30 this morning, and uh, just got up. Everyone's gonna sleep a little bit later because they probably never got settled in till 1 1 30 in the morning And today we have a little bit of Stuff going on. We got some hiking going on. We got some canoeing going on and Also, we're gonna be taking Five of the officers including me are gonna be taking a driver course for towing trailers so we're going to be doing it and testing on that today. So because of that, I'm not going to be doing uh, hiking today. I'm going to be doing canoeing. I usually go on a longer hike on the first day. But I'll do canoeing today. And then uh, kind of get interrupted and go do the test. Come back and finish canoeing and sort of get started on the hiking stuff. Yeah, so last night it was plus one in my tent. And yes, I did freeze. I slept in what I'm wearing. I got two layers on my pants. Uh, got an undershirt, shirt, uh, sweatshirt, puffy jacket, and another puffy jacket and a toque and I wore heavier pair of mitts gloves I guess and I was still pretty cold so that was interesting but uh, this morning and last night there's been no wind the sky was absolutely gorgeous last night it was just beautiful there's bazillion scar stars out watching satellites go by uh, it was just incredible. And this morning, a little bit of drift cloud and and uh, it's sunny out, no wind. That's the biggest thing on these adventures. If you don't have wind, you can pretty well tolerate most conditions, even rain. But the wind seems to be the killer of everything. So I'm just out for a walk and uh, get the blood going. We uh, have to take our canoes down to the 
marina and then uh, we'll uh, do some kind of preliminary safety and instructional course with the cadets that are canoeing just to get them familiarized because they're silver stars and this is where they learn how to canoe properly and then we'll uh, go out in the water for a while but uh, like I said it's a little cool out I think it's uh, it's probably about six or so degrees Celsius and uh, very nice out so our camp site is probably uh, half a mile up this road and our canoe site has two lakes one's on the right of the road a big huge lake and then uh, we've got a smaller one on the left side here so we uh, use a smaller one for the canoeing because it's a little probably easier it's not going to be as open more sheltered for wind and stuff so here is where we go for the canoeing I'm surprised I don't have a sign for boat launching but horse riding stuff I was here last year with them first time first time we've been here last year and this year so far haven't had any ticks on me and this is a very popular place for ticks like the worst place I've ever been to so hopefully I don't know I'll be on the water so it'll be good today There's some geese over there. Seen a rabbit earlier. Seen some deer when we were driving out. A lot of deer out here are out this year. There's where we'll start our hike down that route there. And everything is just soaking wet. As you can tell by the road here, it's pretty muddy. We got some rain before we got here and uh, I don't think it rained last night. Everything's wet. I think it's more from dew and the rain yesterday. And the birds are noisy here. tracks on the lake it's absolutely gorgeous so a little bit of fog some birds playing around there and there's about the size of the lake goes a little bit further out right oh, that's a good lake to canoe on it goes actually way out late way out right if I recall from last year But it is a beautiful day for canoeing. Keep that rain away and keep the wind down. It should be good. So I'm going to head back to the uh, campground. And I don't know. I don't have too much to do. So on my left, that's a lake, still continuing on. We'll be canoeing. We'll go over here on the right, it's a bigger lake. And our campsite actually backs this way.
We're just off to the right, our campground. Just like glass. Nice reflection of the trees. Some bugs. Should be out in the water right now. Before the wind picks up, here's a couple more geese. Yeah, like I said, this is a beautiful place here. Yeah. Just, just pretty far from home to come to, but uh, cadets in the south are closer here, so we do the driving and they don't have to drive as far. There, a pelican, probably a pelican. Here's our campground, Aspen Meadow. Ah, it's clouding up some. I'm walking for almost an hour. Let's go see if anyone's up yet. Jen's up. The community or the tents over here. Just getting going, getting breakfast going. Cadets are just getting up. 
They didn't get to bed till about 1.30 last night due to our bus driver. And they're taking canoes off. We're gonna haul them down a kilometer, just carry them to the lake and uh, then we'll be good to go. Just setting up here for portaging. Had a big downpour, so we brought everyone in. Now they're going out for a bit more.
think they just got started a while ago. There was a family that uh, was wanting to get a, a canoe or something like that. Yeah. Were you guys here? So we set up some tarps because it's been kind of raining off an arm on. We have uh, finished eating. Just gonna get ready for tomorrow and do some hiking. Say hi. We're going on his YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Please cut this off your YouTube channel. I do not <laughs> consent. <laughs> <laughs> I did not sign a waiver. <laughs> so are you trailer qual? Haha. Uh -huh. So while he's bringing those over, we'll keep those with that. I'm tired. Say hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I was in this group last year and he was like... Hi, Mom. Do we have any comments here from the, the super officer of Saskatchewan? Well, you see, we uh, we backed trailers up today. We canoed. We're good. Here's the trailer. Yeah, we all survived. And passed. And passed. Hey, that's a win. So what's up for tonight? Tonight we're pumping some water. We're teaching the cadets how to filter water. So our guys are heading over to the lake right now to learn how to use the water filters. Awesome. Have a good night. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Sunday today. Just quit raining. It rained all night. Must have got about an inch of rain at least. And we're just getting ready to go for a hike. How's it going, team leader? Good. Any other comments? There's no casualties yet. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes. Yes. Are you lying? No. <laughs> We're starting our hike here. Apparently it's pretty muddy. And it doesn't help that we got what, an inch or two of rain last night. Just gonna hike the uh, kind of round little Kenoshi Lake. Is that what it is? This little Kenoshi. Yeah. See how far we get. Lake just going all the way around, stop and do some water filtering. And here's my team.
back from our hike and uh, everyone's putting their stuff away. About 10 o'clock, we left at about 6.30. A little three hour, three and a half hour hike. 10K and uh, that's it. We're gonna pack up. I'm catching a ride back about noon.